zero waste is uh, a process, especially if it's on an individual level. It's about looking at the, the systems that are already established, both in a household, in an office you work in, at schools, at work, and see how you can reduce waste and minimize waste. It's a, quite a difficult process nowadays because everything is packaged in plastics but zero waste is not only about packaging waste and uh, plastic as a material it's also looking at food waste at home at supermarkets and um, water resources energy so reevaluating everything and seeing how we can minimize our use of resources and use them more effectively what you can do is see what different um, forms of waste separation you already do. Maybe you separate glass or cardboard or the recyclables or organic waste and see the volume that you create. Um, then I think it's important to start seeing what can you uh, reuse or what can you reduce. Um, so for example, organic waste, you can start composting it, which means it's not wasted. It doesn't end up in a landfill, but you compost it into a valuable material once again. Um, materials that can be recycled it could be that you put them for recycling but at the same time it's still much better if you can r reduce or you know reuse what you are putting for recycling because even that process costs a lot of energy and not all that is collected for recycling will ultimately be recycled in the environment for quite a long time and I just try to show that it's very easy to be eco-friendly without breaking the bank or doing anything extraordinary. Um, I started with face scrubs and body scrubs because I was reading about microbeads in these products and I wanted to eliminate them so I started making honey and sugar scrubs for example and then my big step was shampoo and conditioner so for the past two years I've been making my own bicarbonate of soda and water for shampoo and apple cider vinegar and water for conditioner. Uh, I'm Marta and I created something for mapping which is a small uh, upcycling workshop. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm upcycling mostly pallets, turning them into furniture, home decor and also later I started collecting all the trash from the streets and make something nice out of it. And what I'm doing here in this camp is like I try to introduce people uh, and show them how they can see 
things differently, how they can see something in nothing, what for some people is trash, for me is a potential, what can become art or can become something useful. My name is Jim Whiteman, I'm the uh, PRO of the bicycling advocacy group um, which we call BAG, B-A-G, and we're an organisation trying to promote cycling, so sustainable active transport, and one of the reasons I'm here is to try and help people learn how to do simple stuff on bikes like fix punctures, adjust their brakes so that they know how to look after their bike themselves. It's a really simple technology, there's no reason why nobody should be able to do the basic stuff. Um, and keep their bikes going.